Well, sweet baby Jesus, my, my sweet apple pie. Listen, friend, little piece of advice. If you're not sitting down right now, I suggest you go on and have yourself a seat. Because this gonna knock you off your feet. Don't mind me. I'm always standing. I can't, I can't sit still. That's just, that's just in my nature. But for you, I suggest you, you go on and do that. Go on and have a seat. Because what you're about to see is going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your top. We're going to start off here. They, they say, greetings, agents. CM Fragment, Marvel Future Fight. A native, a new native tier 3 hero has been added. So now we know he is tier 3. Talking about Null, of course. A patch is scheduled for today, and I believe it's it, it's about eight o'clock. Is it Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time? Okay, so whatever wherever wherever your time zone correlates to, you know, just pop that in, and, and that that's what it is for you. Sorry to interrupt your usual broadcast, but I have to sneak this in the video, and I figured I'd put it in the beginning versus putting it in at the end. Do not play World Boss. I repeat, do not play World Boss until this patch comes out. Because the way it looks is you're going to be able to collect one of Noel's bios per run, so per clear. You get one of his bios. So potentially you could have him in two days. If you can clear Null, you've got five clears from Null. You take five and you get five. Then you're going to get five bios day one, five bios day two. So if you want to be able to unlock them as soon as possible, do not play your world boss until after the patch notes have come into the game. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Adios. Amigos. So if you're ready, if you're ready, I don't know if you're ready, to harness his mighty powers prepared to challenge the world boss legend difficulty, various heroes with a new potential awakening and tier 3 will be a great help in defeating all. And we'll get into that in a minute because part of that sentence there is a bit disappointing and I'll explain to you exactly why. So for the patch scheduled today, right it'll be applied in waves so uh from what i understand it's like it could be 30 minute increments so you know you you'll get it you'll get it. it might be a little bit later than one one person to the next so if he sees you know other people obtaining well that you can't obtain no actually not not today but if you see other people have it you know don't fret my friend you will you will get it you will get it so the game can be played during the patch, not like an update, right? We all know this. So let me explain to you what is so mind-blowing and meta-breaking about this man here. Because he's not just meta-breaking. He is going to dismantle the meta. He's going to shatter it into a million pieces. It's going to be unrecognizable by the time this man is done with it. So let's just, you know, we're going to go through his skills quickly. So first off, he has, he's got a pretty OP leadership. 60% increase uh, of all attacks to all symbiote allies. So, you know, your boy Carnage, Venom, Gwenom, Miles Morales, anybody who has that symbiote tag, he's going to buff them up 60%. But here's the thing, here's the thing. You know, I mean, other than maybe Danger Room Extreme, I, I can't see, like, he, from what it looks like, he is so substantial in meta breaking that you're, you're not going to want to use any other character. So, you know, if you're a PvP player, you know, possibly throw him in the lead, and then, you know, you can put Carnage and Venom on the team, or, or, or Gwenom, or whoever. But um, I, I, other, other than that, uh, like, if you're taking him into World Boss, or Null himself, you know, that Null on Null action, Necro Sword on Necro Sword. Uh, you're going to want to keep him in the game, right? 
So we'll see how that works out. I'll be, I'll be doing some in-depth testing and I'm going to bring you guys, you know, the best news. So there's his leadership and he's got this passive skill and this passive skill is unlike anything that we have ever seen. And what it says here is buff removal effect does not remove once the effect is activated. So it says activation rate when HP is below 5%. Applies to self, gains Godbreak immunity, HP does not drop to 1 or below for 6 seconds. And then he recovers 75% of max HP after 6 seconds. And it's on a 120 second cooldown, so a 2 minute cooldown. And what this means is, once he drops below 5%, he cannot drop below 1% for 6 seconds. And then after that 6 seconds... He recovers 75% of his HP. So it's like he's unkillable during that six second time. And it, so it, it's like it's like almost, I don't want to say it's necessarily beneficial to get him down to that to that 5% um, mark. But, he, you know, he gains that guard break immunity. Um, so I'm just not sure if he gains the guard break immunity if it's only for the six seconds. It might only be for the six seconds. Um, but I mean that that that's pretty insane, right? We've never seen anything like this ever before, and I mean this this passive right here just makes him makes him uh, a force to be reckoned with in PvP and PvE, right? Especially when you're fighting null, because we all know how how easy it is to to just die when when you're playing null. I don't do a whole lot of you know PvP, but He's for for those um, uh, you know players that participate in Alliance tournament. You know we, we thought Sentry was was meta breaking. Say bye bye Sentry. Noel's here to take over. But you know we so there you yeah, now you're gonna have a choice. Are you gonna want to build him for PvP or PVE? Just just like it was for Sentry. But I feel like Noel now he he's he, you're gonna be the, the choice is gonna be even harder because you know. Uh, he, it looks like he's going to be really strong for for Null himself. But anyways, let let let's move on. Now, his tier two passive, he gets chain hit damage, twenty percent when attacking, which we all know synergizes very well with energy, right? And they just released these forge energies, and I feel like whenever they do something like this, they try to they try to synergize those effects. They try to make things in the game that apply pretty much for that right they 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 want you to spend the money they want you to spend the resources forging these energies right because it's 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 more expensive than, than just even slapping a rage on them now because you need you need two and then sometimes if you're going for super excess super success you need you need five more so i feel like he might synergize very very well with a forge energy but from looking at his cooldowns, it doesn't seem like it. But, you know, we, we won't know until we actually can play as him. You know, it's fun to look at all these skills and, and theorize and, and, and guesstimate and, and so on and so forth. But until you're actually playing as him and, and see what these skills do and how the animations play out, you really don't know. But on, on, on paper, right, looking at the screen here, looking at his effects, he looks to be insane so let, let's continue reading he gets an additional five percent pierce damage now we all know we all know how much that pierce damage matters how op the pierce damage is so he basically has a, a full a full uh, a card crafty card with all blue stars he already has that just to begin with right decreases all damage received by 35 percent not too shabby and now now this this here is is very very good um especially for pvp so when debuffed applies itself he removes all debuffs so this is like this is like having odin's leadership silver surfer's leadership uh gene gray's leadership um, you know, without the, uh, so like Silver Server, you get the additional, you know, attack and defense, and then Odin's like the, the, the additional resistance. Um, so my, minus that, right? He basically has Wasp, Wasp, uh, passive. So 
He has that built into his kit. We've never seen that before. And rightfully so, right? I, I, I have to imagine that he, this man is going to be uber expensive. And um, there's, something, there's something new that's coming for, uh, in terms of resource, resource foraging. And, we, and that's, that's a little down, down, down below. And we'll get to that in a second. So his first skill, uh, he has, he's got some stun, and it has 100% physical attack and an additional 1334 physical damage. I mean, compared to his other skills, I mean that's that's actually on par with all of his other skills except his second skill. Um, so I mean, usually the first skill isn't, you know, uh, the most grandiose skill. Second skill, when using manual controls, your character will continuously attack nearby enemies. So this is just like Storm's fifth skill, Cable's fifth skill, Nova's third skill, uh, where you just hold the button down and he just, you know, it's, it's like those beam attacks, right? Well, Storm's is, she just continuously, you know, uh, 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 the tornadoes just continuously start, you know, spawn. Uh, now he's got stun, he has paralyzed, paralyzed, ABX. Um, so he's definitely, and he has two of the effects, right? He's got, yeah, he's got silence on the next one. He's only missing the burn. So, and as I mentioned, now, some characters are, you know, depending on, so we don't know where the cap's going to be. We, we, we have a pretty good idea that they're going to raise the cap. Because every day is, is, for me at least, it's a very easy cap. I, I can run one time and, and cap on every single day. Pretty much, yeah. I, I can't think of any day where I have to run it more than once. Unless I do something stupid and, you know, I don't know. I use a skill before the, the roar cancel. But um, in terms of damage, uh, and, I, and I know a lot of other people are capping as well. Like if I run my ABX late um, in the day, I'm, I'm like 20. I was 29th the other day um, in, in just my alliance in my alliance so every so at least 29 other players 28 other players or are, are capping um so we know they're going to increase it and depending on where that is he might be powerful enough where you can say swap in loki or thanos or dormammu and apply the 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 effect that cancels the roar the burn and then swap now back in right you can do one of one of those deals so that was the yeah the second skill. So and he has incapacitation on his. So incapacitate is is a pretty OP um, uh, effect to have. So it removes active buff from target, and that's that's mostly PVP oriented, right? It's got a uh, twelve. So you know a six second cooldown here. We have a three and a half second cooldown on his first. That seems to be pretty on par with um, a lot of other you know characters. Now this third skill, this is where it gets pretty interesting. So enables attacking enemies who have activated the ignore targeting effect. You know, remember a little while back, like whenever we'd see this, right? This is like Silver Surfer's third skill, um, Ghost Rider's third skill, um, you know, Hulk's third skill. All these characters, you know, Sentry has a couple skills with this. What is it? His five and his one, I believe. Um, and it's a very OP effect, especially for PvP. So you're seeing a lot of, you know, staples. That are, that are going to make them extremely powerful for, for PvP. Um, but also, you, you're going to see some stuff that he's going to be, you know, a force to be reckoned with in, in PvE as well. So, he's got the ignore targeting effect. He's got stun for 3 seconds, silence for 3 seconds, incapacitation again for 10 seconds. This one 10 seconds. They're both, they're both 10 seconds. And he's got paralysis that ignores immunity. Which is really good for you know world boss. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's not gonna apply to null though. So any other world boss, it doesn't seem like many people are too interested in the other world bosses though at this very moment, especially because null is gonna cost a lot of CCF. Century costs a lot of CCF, and you get a lot of CCF from playing null. So it's like everybody's main focus is null, and it should be. So he's got the. Incapacitation again, he's got the 100% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier, shield, all damage immune, invincible effect. But it's only for two seconds, which is which is very strange. You would think it would be for like, I don't know, at least eight seconds or so. Because a lot of other characters have it for a bit longer than that. He gets super armor in all defenses, 
uh, for you know 35% for five seconds. Super armor is a really, really good effect to have. But the thing is, this is on a 15 second cooldown. It's exactly like Ghost Riders. Exactly like Ghost Riders. This looks just like Ghost Rider skill. I'm anxious to see how this actually, you know, what the animation looks like and how it applies in, in, in the game here. Now his fourth skill. Stun for one and a half seconds. He's gotten more paralysis, which is... Really good for, you know, for ABX now, you know, having that, that effect on multiple skills, especially not on your tier three, because you could just, you know, willy nilly play and, you know, chances are that's just going to be in the rotation. You're going to hit that skill during that time anyways. So I like that. Just makes AB, ABX a little bit easier. Um, he's got, uh, now he has accumulation. I mean, we all know how OP accumulation is. It's basically the same thing as uh, as Moonstone's accumulation, right? Make sure I'm gonna go check right now just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that it's the same. Yeah, it's the same exact accumulation as Moonstone and many other characters as well. Uh, you know, it's got the 10% for uh, for one percent of damage of damage uh, dealt, right? Yeah, damage dealt to enemy. That that's the one you want. You don't want the damage received because it can be tricky to 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 kind of kind of play. You got to wait for um, to take damage, and depending on what game mode you're playing, it doesn't always work out that well. So that's that's the the, the best accumulation. That's the one we want to see. And then on his fifth, he has he has some bleed damage, which we, we all know how useless bleed is, right? Unless you're playing Shadowland, apparently. Uh, he's got stun for one second. He's got a 20% heal. On a nine second cooldown, he's got invincibility for six seconds on a nine second cooldown, and he's got this 35. So, all defense, all attack for 35, all speed by one and crit rate by 45. I mean, why didn't they, why didn't they just give him the 60, right? Like, who has a 60? Uh, Doctor Strange has a 60. Doesn't Moonstone have 60? No, she has, she has 40. But either way, the the crit rate of, uh, even even at 30 it, you should it should put you you know uh, uh, according to that soft cap okay so i mean he's looking like he's looking like a snack man he's looking like a must have matter breaking like i said and his tier 3 doesn't seem all that spicy but i mean if it were up to me i'd rather have all the better effects and better damage and better uh, skills and so on and so forth on his one through five than his tier three right that that that's just me but from where his cooldowns are right and how quickly ghost riders tier three charges it looks like he's gonna have a really fast charging tier three as well looks like it's gonna be just like ghost riders um which is gonna be awesome awesome especially with the with the whole character swapping in and out um, that you got to do to play Null at higher stages, like like if you didn't see my video, the stage 23 video. By the way, I'm going to have stage 28 coming out uh, hopefully later in the day. Anyways, so his tier 3, he's got stun for 4 seconds, bind for 1 second, he's got the paralysis that does ignore the immunity for 3, and he's got 100% chance to penetrate everything, invincibility for 10 seconds, and he has a 30% uh, increase of all attack for for 10 seconds which i like that because we've been seeing like increase attack for you know 50 per percent for for one attack who uh who was that who has i think it's thor maybe he's got the um no 35 percent for for one attack so he's got 30 percent increase for all attacks somebody else had that too maybe maybe a sentry just check in here he's got increased damage for 80 percent for one attack so I don't know. It could. It could. That that's a much you know much greater increase, but it's only for one attack. He's got a 30 seconds for all attacks. So if that stacks with his um, buff from his fifth skill, you have 65 percent, right? And uh, we'll have to see exactly how quickly his tier three charges to see if how often that's going to be up during his whole rotation, right? And then here is his tier three. Is the animation. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is with SFX on. It does look pretty damn cool. Don't be fooled by the hits because of all the uh, all the, all those you know mobs there, all those bots. Um, it does look like a lot of hits, but 
you know, if you just put one there, right? Because if you're fighting null, there's only one character um, that's going to decrease dramatically. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to see what kind of damage it actually does. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's not a, a copy-paste, so I'm happy with that. But, you know, we'll have to see, um, well, we'll have to see what it does in-game. And you better believe that this boy right here, this cowboy, he's going to be clickety-clacking on and getting that man ranked up as soon as possible. So, moving on here. This may upset some players. Um, we kind we kind of knew this was coming though, right? So it's gonna have basically the same effect as, as ranking up Bam, right? Your Black Any Matter, um, except it's gonna cost a little bit less. So um, instead of having 50, right? You need you need you know 50 Bam for one rank two. It's gonna be 35. So it's gonna be a little bit less. So uh, basically, and it shows down here. I was actually doing the math earlier, and then I realized that uh, I was doing the math in my head, and I realized oh, it's right there. Um, 560 for one rank six so don't don't fret you know prematurely because we don't know exactly how much he's going to cost he could just be one rank six for you know ranking him up to a certain point right it, it, it might not be as much as we think but a lot of a lot of players a lot of people are speculating that he's going to cost you know somewhere in the ballpark of like four or five thousand ccf but we don't know we don't know that that's just speculation at this point and i'll find this information out as soon as possible because like i said i'll be ranking them up and um I, I, you know what somebody suggested to do a build video so maybe i'll do that i'll i'll get i'll get i'll record it live and um i'll bring it to you guys as soon as it's humanly possible okay so moving on here now sif I'm not going to spend too much time on this because she's she's like she's another Elsa, she's another Heimdall, um, she's another Silk. They're giving these characters awakening skills, but no uniforms. Like, you know, I, I can't imagine that it's very easy to you know, you know, render all these new skills and animations and, and you know with the uniform and all that. But like, come on, it's just it's just a waste. And then like you know they'll, they'll, they'll throw these characters in the story mode. So then you you know it's like if you if you want if you want that puzzle piece, then you gotta you know for one hundred percent then you gotta you gotta awaken this character this absolutely useless character. And they don't give us enough of the crystals, right? You, you get you get a lot of the gems. And I showed this in one of the last videos. The deficit that I have from crystals to gems, I have like. I have well over 5,000 of the gems, and I have like 1,300 something, 13, 1,400 of the crystals. Like, come on, you know, they, they need to do something about that. They need to, I suggested doing, um, like, like doing a trade, like a two for one, two gems for one crystal. And if they gave us something like that, then it wouldn't be as much of an issue. But like, I mean, with where it is right now, you know, with with, with the awakening characters, like if I awaken one character right now, I couldn't awaken another one until, you know, it's, it's going to be a little while until I collect enough of the crystals again. So this is just useless. This is, you know, it's really upsetting. And her awakening skill is, it's the same exact one as Heimdall's and Valkyrie's. So moving on here, we got some other information as, it's, as it says. Power Cosmic has been added to Thor makes complete sense right i mean he does get the power cosmic he is herald of uh you know he's a herald of galactus um with the power cosmic so this is this is going to be nice um you know you can use him as a striker uh you know if you're not using him as a damage dealer for an all you know that that could that could be good um you know if you're playing all but you know if you're playing other world bosses then you know obviously you can interchange them it's not like no you know how that goes the skill motions of Valkyrie, Fearless Defender's uniform, has been improved. So they, they fixed some things with um, Valkyrie's uh, skill motions. Very nice. And then one of the abilities of Sentry's, uh, Modern Strong, so his Modern Strong uniform, right? I think they put, you know, uh, um, had to point that out, right? Had to specifically state that because he's going to be getting that Void uniform. Um, has been changed to Leadership. Okay, so he now, and okay, and then his world boss striker effect has been changed to leadership. All right, so now what that means is he can now take advantage of White Fox's passive. 
right? And we all know how OP that passive is, especially now with her new uniform. So, I mean, regardless, even if you don't have the new uniform, um, it, it just it just increases her her you know the effect. You know, we did some you know some testing, like even just putting the new uniform on her, you know, for squad battle, right? You're using Luna Snow and the no restriction for Vibranium, it increased the score dramatically, like millions of points just from that just from the the new her new uniform but so now sentry could take advantage of, of that passive it won't work for null right sorry about that fellers my uh, my dog started barking and i'm not talking about my feet i had a visitor stop by so i had to i had to pause my recording for a, for a moment so anyways we was talking about uh sentry getting the leadership tag and how what fox's passive will now apply to him so I, f I feel like most people are aware of her passive and how how effective it is so that's you know that that's a good thing i don't think it's super game changing um just because most people are you know focused and fixated on null at the moment right uh so they're going talking about some uh some game error fixes the issue with growth materials required for enhancing the power uh the potential of mild command being applied differently than plan has been fixed um the omitted text of applies to self and white fox's lifestyle uh to passive uh passive skill blood scent has been added and here is where it gets really nice the increase increases chain hit damage effect in the thor New, Thor's new uniform has been changed so that the effects can be stacked with the custom gear effects mainly talking about an energy so I wonder if Thor could now be very effective with an energy and you know for those who have energy on them now and you've been playing with them um, you know you should you should see I would imagine a, a pretty substantial increase in that let's um so let me let me go to Thor here, and because it's on his it's on his uniform, right? So yeah, let's uh, let's minimize let's let's get this out of the way here. And so he he has an um, chain it damage by an additional ten percent when, when when attacking. And I mean ten percent, it might not sound like much, but it's actually when it stacks like that. It can add up to a lot of additional damage. Like, what is... Oh, my God. And yet again, more interruptions. Okay, moving on here. Let's see if we can get through the rest of this, you know, worry-free. All right, so cable, cable, cable. Just so you have a reference on you know what this will actually look like here he is and is it on his uniform i'm actually not sure exactly where it is okay so he had he has 30 percent increase right which is three times as much as, as thor so you know um it, imagine to see a, you know a, a slight increase not as much as is cables though right just so you have some reference to base that off of so he may be very good with an energy. He may not. We'll we'll have to we'll have to see. We'll have to uh, you know maybe I'll do some CTP swapping um, in the near future. All right. So back to this here. Back to this. And then it just says so apparently there were issues um, with Valkyrie's uh, Aragorn right her um, her trusty steed. And apparently that's been fixed. I didn't really notice anything um, odd about that, but good. I'm glad they fixed it. All right, now. Okay, here we go. All right, now, so there's this uh, celebration event. And I feel like everybody should be, you know, know what's going on with these events because some of them are actually pretty good. So uh, it says, Nall and the King in Black, uh, Nall the King in Black and Sif, the warrior goddess, who has returned with more powers will join the battle soon. Listen, I can't imagine that anybody's really going to be getting out of the seats for Sif. 
please welcome these two heroes. Woods, you know what? She's just going to be well overshadowed shadowed by Null. I mean, you know, even if she got a uniform, everybody's main focus would still be Null. But it would be, it would have been nice, right? It would have been nice. Like she's the new Heimdall in in the you know Thor Herald of Galactus comic run. Like she should be she should be strong, and not giving her a uniform, it's it's a damn shame. I, I'm hoping that they're going to do. You know, maybe it's coming. Maybe they're going to give her a uniform, you know, uh, very soon. Let's hope that's the case. And let's hope they do that for all the rest of the, uh, the, you know, the characters that got the shaft with the awakening skill but no uniform. Heimdall, Elsa, Silk, you know, all of them. So it, it says, uh, welcome the heroes and participate in the events that will up help upgrade them. Don't miss out on the chance to equip useful custom gear and receive tier 3 growth materials. Yes, we need more tier 3 growth materials. So, first event on the list, all uniforms for sale. We love those, right? Maybe I'll even do some of my top uniforms. I'll give you like my top 10. Kind of throw that in a video because we got the 40% discount right now. Obviously, some of the uniforms don't apply, right? All the, uh, all, the, all the holiday type uniforms and, and it says they got the Captain Marvel in there. That's funny. I wasn't around for that. Null Celebration 7-Day Check-In ends with some CCF. I mean, my opinion, they should increase that to 100 CCF and do that more often, right? It's nice they give us 100 TCP. I feel like TCP right now is a more sought-after uh, uh, material than CCF for those who are actually playing Null. Because I've been getting a lot. Like, especially if he's my world boss of the day, like, I'll get, like, 250 per day of CCF. Like, no joke. Like, there's times where I'm, I'm getting, I get 100 in a single run. So, I, I would imagine that, you know, uh, I, I don't know. You know, I, I've heard, like, because I, I would, I would I'll, you know, mention in, in, my, in the Discord of my alliance, you know, how much CCF I'm getting. And other people are like, I'm not getting that much. But I can't imagine I'm the only one with that kind of luck on that. Okay. It's got the CTP Reforging Super Success times two chance of event now i know there's a lot of hubbub about the you know ctp reforging uh i'm not afraid to you know uh mention that i participate in this right i try to take advantage of stuff that's going to help me achieve uh, uh you know greater success in the game and play at a higher level and these are the things that help you play at a higher level so and, and i know you know not everybody has you know ctps just in the bank stacked up um, I've had some decent luck with this, and I've had some bad luck with this. I've wasted a lot of CTPs. Like I had a bunch of patience and transcendence just stacked stacked away, and then actually during one of the last 50% um, off CTP, you know, unequipping events, I took like all the patience and all the transcendence I had on like you know these lower tier characters, um, and I used those for CTP reforging. Um, I wish I would have saved him for this event, and I've actually, I have, um, I think I, I, I'll be doing, I'll try to get it live for you guys, just, so, you know, so you see what it looks like. Um, I'll be doing three, three energies going for the super success. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned, and we're going to see, hopefully we get some more, hopefully we're brilliant, baby. But yes, I do know that, you know, this could be out of reach for, for a good amount of players, you know, who have a limited amount of CTPs. But, you know, I think it's good for everybody to see what it what it actually does, right? What it looks like, what the chances are, and so on and so forth. So, I almost jumped the gun, though, um, yesterday. Uh, but I do have, I, I, I have some now, and I'll be doing that. Uh, gold bonus mission. Uh, you know, just like your typical gold bonus mission, right? You get some, I, I wish they, they would give you better rewards than this. I mean, a four to five star Uru. That's not really that good, right? Not good at all. 100 bios, in my opinion, is way better than this. Why that's above that, I don't know. But you get 200 BAM. Um, I feel like they should replace this 4 to 5. They should put the, the BAM here, where the 15 million is. And then here, they should put 200 Chaos Norn Stones. Or even some Tier 3 material. Throw some, throw some CCF. I mean, because we know that CCF is going to be drained, right, when Null comes. Energy bonus mission. So this, um, you know, they got the CCF and the BAM down here. Um, you know, like, 
I, like I said, you know, I wish they would just put some, some tier 3 materials in there. Even if it's a little bit, we could definitely use that much more than some dimension debris. Am I right? You get one of these platinum gift chests. I really haven't gotten anything good from, from this. Really ever. Okay, this is really good. 50% off discount for custom gear. But mind you, it's not going to happen until the 22nd. So, you better pull back those reins, Pony Soldier, and, and, and pump the brakes. Because you got a few days now to wait on that. So, I'm wondering if, like, for those who do have forged um, CTPs, you know, regen, transcendence, or energy, if it's actually going to apply to that as well. Because it only says 600 to 300. And if you don't know, uh, unequipping a mighty is 800. Unequipping a brilliant, I think, is 1200. If I remember correctly, because I went to just see what it was, and I hit the unequip button on the, the one I have on Moonstone. And actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll check. I'll check in a second. So we have this character ranking event. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do this, like shame on you. Don't do that. That's bad. And that's about it. A lot of people are angry about this. More people are angry than 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 like it. And it's not, and it's not um, by a small amount either. So that's pretty much it, guys. Oh yeah, here. Let me let let's see what what this actually what it costs to unequip a brilliant, and we'll see if it we'll see if it actually fifteen hundred. Man, I thought it was twelve hundred. Fifteen? Not your damn mind. I mean, I I kind of get it. Like they don't want you like you know. Go and play in all. You got one brilliant, and then swapping it to the next character, and and then just keep continuously doing that. I mean, so I, I kind of get it, but fifteen hundred, like, come on, come on, my goodness gracious. But yeah, I have um, I have I have some uh, energies. So I have five here. I have uh, a CTP selector. I'll be I'll be grabbing another energy. So I'll be doing it three times, and I'm gonna get that recorded. Um, and, um, it may be even some, uh, some, some gambling and things like that. Um, I hear that people, they like to see other people, uh, um, have really bad luck. Just kidding. Hopefully we have some good luck. So anyways, there are the patch notes. I mean, I'll be, I'll be going for this guy, you know, just to bring you guys the content. I'd probably just do it anyways. Um, get, getting all, ranking them up. I'll make a video on it. Uh, I know everyone wants to see it. So, listen, until next time, I'll see you around. All right, so stay tuned, stay breezy, but most of all, you stay safe out there, friend.